most of the times you'll get replication modes and operation modes in HANA replication. So what is your replication mode? We have three types of replication modes. One is synchronous in memory. First is synchronous, 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 synchronous in memory and asynchronous. What is synchronous? What is synchronous means? I'll tell you. So this synchronous, they'll call it as synchronous disk also. Synchronous disk, synchronous in memory. Remember these two things. Synchronous communication, asynchronous communication. Synchronous communication means you will get the acknowledgement. Asynchronous communication means you won't get the acknowledgement. Is it clear? See, the first one, synchronous communication. So, this is your primary database. This is your secondary database. So, whatever the things happen, it will happen in your memory first. Later, they will come to log directory and data directory. Is it clear with everyone? Any doubts? So, first, whatever you update on HANA database, that will be updated into memory first. HANA is an in-memory database. Later, they are persisted to your persistent storage. Yes or no? Your voice is lagging, uh, so we could not hear you what you said. Just yes, sir. The voice is uh, breaking. Okay. Voice is breaking. So in synchronous mem uh, in HANA database, now is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Yes. In, in, HANA, sure. data in HANA database, if you do anything, first where it will be updated in memory, right? Enter your HANA database stores in the memory. All the operations will happen at memory only. Later, whatever the updated things in memory will be persisted to your persistent disk into log and data first it will be into memory then into log then into data yes or no yes sir yes so in synchronous memory what happens if you create a sales order you say commit you have created one sales order you have you have done some replication with the synchronous memory concept so if you say commit immediately that sales order will go and save in secondary databases memory it will reach there after that it will get the acknowledgement yes i have reached to secondary database memory now you can confirm that then only it will come confirms means the transaction will not be committed till it gets acknowledgement from secondary database memory is it clear so synchronous means acknowledgement is there. Asynchronous means no acknowledgement. So synchronous memory, when it reaches the memory of the secondary database, then from here it will get the acknowledgement. First your set commit, immediately it won't save here. First it will reach us to secondary memory. From there, after reaching there, it will get the acknowledgement. After getting the acknowledgement only, the sales setter one will be created. So that what is happening? So your database is consistent. Your replication state is consistent, right? If this goes down, definitely you should have data here. Yes or no? Yeah, yes. So now I created one user, Naveen. Say commit. It won't save immediately. First it will reach to secondary database memory. Then from there he will get the acknowledgement. Yes, Naveen reached here. Then only it will give confirmation. That is what synchronous memory. It is syncing with the memory. These two memories are syncing. That is the reason I am calling it as synchronous memory. Is it clear? Second thing. Clear, sir. Synchronous disk. When you create a sales order, immediately the data will go to secondary database memory. First it will update the memory. From there it will persist to HANA log. From there you will get the acknowledgement. Yes, I have saved to HANA log. Then you can confirm the statement. Yes, it will commit the, now. The sales order one will be committed when it gets the acknowledgement from the persistent storage HANA slash log. So it will go here and then first it has to reach the memory. From memory to log, the same thing will happen in the database. Na? 
first it will be recorded in memory then into log after getting secondary database log it will gets the acknowledgement from here then only it will do the commit transaction it will confirm the commit now i created navin user in this database it won't save here now first first it will reach the secondary database memory from memory to secondary database disk hana slash log not into data then it gets confirmation from there so it is syncing with the disk here that is the reason i am calling it as synchronous disk it is getting the acknowledgement from where from the disk that is the reason i am calling it as synchronous disk the third one asynchronous when you create a sales order it will send the request to target database memory it won't get the acknowledgement it will forward the request and it will do the commit immediately it will do the commit it won't check whether it is reached secondary database memory or else whether it is reached to secondary database persistence storage no nothing when you say commit it will forward the same copy to secondary database and it will do the commit so which one is fast here synchronous memory synchronous disk or asynchronous Asynchronous. 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 When I create a sales order, immediately it is throwing the result to secondary database and it is committing. No time it is taking. But when it comes to disk, it has to come to your memory, secondary database memory. From there, it has to persist it to your log. From there, you will get the confirmation, acknowledgement. Then it is saving. So it is taking some what time? This is less time. This is more time. Sorry. The first one is taking some less time. Only it is going to memory and it is giving the acknowledgement. But when it comes to secondary one, it is taking some more time. Here acknowledgement, from here you need to get acknowledgement. But for third one, no acknowledgement is required. That is what your replication modes. Replication synchronous in memory means the targeted database memory when you commit a transaction. it won't commit immediately first the statement will go transaction will go to target database memory after getting acknowledgement from target database memory then only it will do the commit that is what synchronous memory synchronous disk what actually we say synchronous some people will call it as synchronous disk means after when you say commit the transaction first will go and record in the memory from memory to persistent layer hana slash log from there it will get the acknowledgement yes i reached to persistent storage then it will do the commit asynchronous means no syncing directly after when you say commit immediately it will forward the request to secondary database and it will say commit did you got the difference between these two synchronous and asynchronous communication Yes, sir. Yeah. Next thing is operation modes. Operation modes are two things: delta de data shipping and a log replay. Delta data shipping and a log replay. What happens in delta data shipping? What happens in delta data shipping? See, this is your primary database. This is your secondary database. when you configure replication whatever the data you have in this your primary database will be initially shipped to your secondary database this is the initial shipment right you have selected the tick box na when you configure replication initially the data will be shipped okay fine up to here these two databases are same then whatever the transactions happening here these are logs these blue small tiny lines are logs all the logs will be moved to your secondary database after some time delta data shipping will happen delta data shipping remember the data is shipped in the form of delta your small small deltas are there na that will be shipped in asynchronous format it will do the delta backup in delta backup we have two things what are they incremental backup and differential backup and differential backup right 
So sir, your if, voice is breaking, sir. Okay, now in yes, sir, delta in backups we have two things: incremental backup and differential backup. This will do the differential backup. See, differential backup means what? After a successful full backup, whatever the changes happened, that will backup. So this is my successful full backup. This one. After this, what all the changes happened, that will be backed up. So some data will be backed up here. After ten minutes. For each and every, the default time is ten minutes. Every ten minutes, this this delta data shipping will be forwarded to your secondary data. Means, what all the changes happened is that ten minutes that will be shipped. How it is doing backup means differential backup. See, if you observe the size here, orange, it is somewhat less. So here, differential backup means what? After full backup, whatever the changes we have done till here, it will be backed. here after 10 minutes after a successful full backup what all the changes all these three things this one this one and this one all three will be backed up not only this changes entire changes will be added to this now continuously log replace or logs are shipping here at this point you have to take over the system so till this point you have data right only you have to apply these logs these five logs this is what delta data shipping your data is shipping in the form of delta backup which delta backup differential delta backup in the form of differential data backup your data is shipping that is the reason i am calling it as delta data shipping you got the point here first 10 minutes few some data second 10 minutes what all the changes from here to here it will copy and ship here after 15 minutes what all the changes from the initial shipment to here it will copy and add here after 20 minutes what all the changes from here to here so if you see the size size of the backup see delta data the size is more right are you observing the sizes yes yes yeah so yes. now up to here you got you have data and after that the logs will be continuously writing at this point you have to take replication so till here you have data so you have to apply one log two log three logs so it will take some time to restore your database to start your secondary database if you go with delta data shipping that is what delta data shipping your data is coming in the form of del delta backup which delta backup differential delta backup for each and every 10 minutes it is copying the differential backup it is adding that differential backup to your data so why it is doing this thing means to less the to reduce the time of log replay if it is, if this delta backup is not happening so now at this point my database goes down my primary goes down then i have to apply from this log to this log right so if my delta backup is happening my differential backup is happening so i need to only backup these three logs if these yellow th things this delta data shipping is not happening then i have to apply all these logs to reduce this log replay they have come up with a concept called delta data shipping is it clear with everyone yes if you understand uh, the, if you see the next topic log replay then you will understand this So now go with the log replay. So here. Now go with log replay. Log replay. What happens from primary database to secondary data? The initially the data will be copied when you configure replication. After that, no delta data are coming. Only all these your logs are copying to your secondary database and continuously these logs are written to your disk. See, all the logs are written to your disk also. If you observe here. in delta data shipping only this delta data sir writing writing to your data not logs only this yellow part is going to this see this yellow is only touching this yellow line yellow line means orange line means this data this is going to data means up when comes to here up to here 
the data will be in your data directory and what all the these things will be in log directory you have to apply these logs so after this you have to apply these logs but when comes to log reply continuously these logs are replying on del data so when this log generates immediately it will write into data now i am here now my database got down so all the things are written to written to your data directory so immediately your data will, database will start you can access your secondary database immediately if you choose log reply so what all the logs are generating from primary all the logs are continuously updating to your secondary and whatever the logs comes to secondary database immediately they are replying to your data they are writing to your data directory so now my database do goes down here at this point all the data i am having in data directory immediately this data will be copied to your memory and your database will start so which one is taking longer time to start the database delta data shipping or log reply delta data delta, delta data. data shipping so now if here if my database goes down up to here i have in disk these five logs i need to apply so applying of this five logs for each and every 10 minutes this log shipping is happening so after that up to 10 minutes no log ship will happen during this seventh minute your database goes down so all these seven minutes logs i need to write to your data right this writing to data will take some time if you use delta data shipping but when comes to log shipping log reply immediately when this log generated here it comes to here immediately it is writing to data so if database goes down here itself immediately my database will start the secondary database will comes into life so this is what your log reply so we have replication modes three synchronous synchronous what you say synchronous disk in memory synchronous in memory asynchronous synchronous these are replication mode operation modes are two one is delta data shipping and second one is log, log, log. 